what is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today i have some awesome news we finally got our registration papers ready which is going to allow me to change my russian driver's license into thai driver's license so that i would be actually able to drive a car here so maybe we'll be able to outsource some very cheap car and be able to drive it around the place because even although there is talk talks and taxis around the place it actually seems like it's a bit cheaper driving your own car and the second good news is today in 30 minutes basically we're finally getting our internet installed and i am so excited for that because i could finally do some live streams for you guys and i won't have to go downstairs to upload the videos in the middle of the night flipping awesome so let's start over our day well we're finally getting our internet finally installed so we're going to be doing some live streams can't wait a few minutes until we actually have powerful internet <laughs> pichenka is helping out a little bit <laughs> <laughs> anyways let's hope the internet is gonna be 500 megabits well finally a bit of good news we have our router just installed you could see the router right there so let's check out the speed you know what guys the speed i had in russia was like 60 megabits per second around like it it hit up to 80 sometimes so let's see what sort of an internet I got in Thailand. Look at the speeds of this. This is absolutely crazy. So the download is great, but I need upload as a YouTuber even more. So let's see if the upload is gonna be enough for live streaming and uploading. Oh, this is crazy. Absolute crazy results. I'm gonna be uploading videos in a matter of seconds or minutes. Well, let's be realistic, in a matter of minutes. This is great. Can't wait to upload the first video from this apartment. And also, I cannot wait to do a flipping live stream already. So I'm probably gonna do a live stream today because why not? We'll see how the day goes, probably do a live. Very happy, still have not had breakfast. It is 4 p.m. right now, so it's time to get a bit of food. You guys hating on me eating some food? That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing right now. What's interesting about Thailand is that nobody is gonna let you pass on the sidewalk. Oh, time to get some food. So what I was trying to say there is that nobody on the crosswalk doesn't let you pass. The only place uh, they, they let you pass was in Bangkok. But over here in Pattaya, it feels like Turkey. If you have the car, that means you are the boss. People who are on feet have to wait for you. <sighs> but it is rather boiling today. Very, very humid. And we are obviously gonna go eat a bit of like Pat Krapau or something like that. I'm just glad that we got our internet done and our registration, which I need to get from my postal box so that I could finally start exchanging my Russian license into the Thai ones. And then we'll find ourselves a lemon to drive around the place. Here we are, back into the market to be, eat a bit of food. The easiest target for FSB is right here. So it is what it is. If you want to find me, I'm at the Russian market eating a bit of Pat Krapau. Oh, you can see our friend who works here with his family. Max, привет. Привет, Max. How are you? A lot of you guys have misunderstood me when I said it's awesome to drink soda in Thailand during the heat wave. When I said soda, I mean sparkling water. This is just the way they call it in Thailand. You take a bit of lime and you squeeze it in like this. And you drop it in, you swish it around the place and you enjoy the thing. So humid, I think it's gonna rain. I think it's perfect weather for the best 
dish that I love, a bit of pat crepau. Well, I already kind of messed up with the egg, but I gotta tell you, this is one of the best meals that I love in Thailand. It's called pad krapao. It's with uh, pork and shrimp and some rice and egg. Also got some spicy sauce that I really like to put on the rice. So I'm just gently going to place it all over my rice because I like a bit of spiciness. Time to enjoy this meal, I guess. I already told you how much I love it, so I'm not gonna eat it on camera, but trust me guys, it is very, very tasty. And after that, we actually need to go to a store to get some sneakers or something like that, because we actually rented a place where it has a gym, and we need to lose the weight a little bit, so we need some sneakers to go to the gym and start working out and getting back into shape so that the FSB agents can't catch up to us if they try to chase us down or we'll be so physically fit that we can fight them down. Guys, can you tell me, am I the only person who always struggles when there's, when you order a taxi, either grab, in drive, they take absolute ages. It says, for example, four minutes to arrive to you and it ends up like 20 minutes of them driving around the corner. Are they having a bit of pet crapau on the way or something? Because it's taking ages. Look at this, guys. I've ordered this taxi about 10 minutes ago. And the guy's just asking me like, oh, how many people? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you can see the translation. Take some photos of where you are. I mean, I, he has a point on his app to pick me up. And he's just standing in one place. I don't even know why. I'm trying to call the grab driver see where the heck he is because it's taking him ages this is why i need a car here as soon as possible we've been literally waiting for a taxi for 30 minutes what a pain and we need to go to an outlet place where we can uh, find some like running shoes and gym shoes and stuff like that so we can actually start doing a bit of sports well he didn't reply to me but it looks like he's moving very very slowly on the map just around the corner what's so hard i don't understand where the heck is this guy driving i don't understand he's going the wrong way look what is he what is he doing i just don't understand the taxi drivers here and he's not answering me either he wants me to cancel so that he gets the money for it because it takes out of my card i thought i should order grab which would be easier so i don't have to paying cash for the cab because the place we're going you have to do like a bunch of stops in the tuk tuk and ends up costing the same as taking a taxi is he ever going to answer look this guy's not answering at all we're just literally in 7-eleven right now and i'm drinking the big 32 ounce of heart attack right now because this is just stressful. I honestly have no idea what this taxi driver is smoking and where is he going at all whatsoever. He's not canceling or answering the flip and phone either. What a douchebag. Had to order another taxi and this is like a normal thing in Pattaya. This is not the first occurrence. This happens to me every like fifth taxi ride or something like that but this lady right here is actually driving the right way for a start which is good now i don't understand why do some of the taxi drivers around here accept and then they just drive the complete wrong way whatsoever this is one of the major reasons why i need a flipping car here because this is just getting on my nerves you know we are on a rush to do a lot of things to get a lot of things done. And then we have a bunch of drivers that go the exact opposite way of us. And how the heck are we supposed to get to where we need? I have no idea. So let's hope that this lady picks us up and we won't have any problems whatsoever. So if you're in Thailand, get ready. If you're eating somewhere, just order a taxi like 20 minutes in advance. Maybe it's a day like this, or maybe, I, I, I don't I have no explanation. This is really weird. It happens quite often. Ooh, finally the taxi driver actually arrived this time. Flipping heck. That was just such a pain in the butt. And a lot of people were giving me some hard time about a Roddy lady. Guys, the pancakes here are way better. And also all around Jomtien and Pattaya 
it tastes really good. I don't know why everybody wants, well, I guess a lot of you guys answer this. You're all like, oh, because she's a beautiful lady, that's why she's so popular and that's why people get the pancakes. But when I go to a pancake place, I'm not going there for the person. I'm going there for the pancakes. I don't care how a person looks like, as long as the pancakes are delicious. Now it seems like we got a Toyota Camry. Holy schmucks, we're riding dirty today. Oh, I think this is our car. Oh, hello. Wow, swaggy. Well, it was definitely worth the wait because the other drivers just kept going the complete different direction. So after all that waiting, we came to a completely wrong place. I should have went over to Central Marina Pattaya, but instead of that, we went to Outlet Pattaya because I thought that the Nike Outlet would be in an outlet place. So we came to some random little shopping mall, which is an outlet with no shoes that we need, like running shoes or sports shoes, you know, but instead, you can get yourself some flip-flops, I guess. So we went to the wrong place, but they got a bunch of stuff for sale here, it looks like. Underpants, shoes, all sorts of stuff here. I don't even know what's the point of going to a shop, right? If you have all the, even have card payments here. It's crazy. Full-on outlet with stuff just on a parking lot and they accept cards, which is crazy. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Got slides, 429 baht. This is actually pretty good. This is a really good price. You got bags. What's funny is that those bags inside of the store we were just in cost like 2,999. So 2,000 baht markup. Where in here you could buy yourself one for like 900 baht. What a good deal, you know, you just have to walk literally outside of the mall. So you come from there, you walk here, and you get a thousand baht discount, which if you ask me is quite a lot of money, you know? I mean, I'd walk over there for a thousand baht any day. Well, we have made it to Central Marina. You could see it right there, but I really have a feeling that this is also the wrong place to go but the Nike store is said to be here so let's hope that it's actually here where's Evelina I lost her she's walking around there sometimes guys you ask me why don't we walk beside each other we usually oh my god somebody sneezed on Evelina she said anyways a lot of you guys are saying why don't we walk close we do I just sometimes she records a video for her Instagram or takes a photo right now and I don't notice it because I'm walking around talking to you and that is why sometimes it might seem like that but anyway we came over to Central Marina wow look at this guys first of all there's a pig right here that's been roasted and a crocodile as well. Look at a crocodile. Wow. Anyways, off we go inside. You can see Evelina is running away, thinking that I'm probably inside already. Oh no, we came to the wrong place. I think I'm gonna be murdered now. This is the wrong place, I think. Oh my God. Wow, I really can't figure out where we need to go at all, whatsoever. But this feels a bit more like the place we need to go. I think we came to the right place this time. We just have to walk around and figure out where is the Nike outlet store so we can buy some, or as you guys say, not Nike, Nike shoes. And this looks like the right place. Nike. 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 <laughs> wow. A little comment from Evelyn. Today, good day. I don't know why she's saying it straight into the microphone, but here is one of the English words of the day, I guess. Okay, where is this place? Me and Evelina need that toilet in Bangkok, so together we can be doing the deed. No! Yes. No. Yes. Ivan, you crazy. No, I'm not. Guys, we spotted some dude 
painting right here and it looks very nice wow very nice <laughs> wow this guy definitely has a talent at drawing a deer oh hello <laughs> wow very beautiful very beautiful <laughs> wow oh portrait oh oh 1000 baht for portrait oh 900 baht oh wow wow this is very nice even the photos you have here oh you take the photo and make oh look mona lisa did you steal from from france you oh he stole oh okay very nice wow well seems like for 900 baht you could get yourself a portrait or you could witness a stolen i swear mona lisa check this out guys this is genius so if you come with a girlfriend like evelina and you don't want to be walking around with her you could come over to the man's den look at this look at the massage chairs here you could be chilling out with your buddies enjoying yourself you just need a bit of money and you sit down like this and it massages you how cool is that I mean, I saw multiple massage chairs all over the world, but a whole room for the massage chairs? That's genius. Imagine if they had beer there as well and football. That place would be stacked even if the people didn't even need to go to a shopping mall. Even more massage chairs, but those are the ones, a couple massage chairs, you know, you come with a couple and you enjoy yourself here a little bit. So you can see there is an Adidas outlet and we need to find a Nike one to get ourselves some sporty shoes, some sporty shoes so that we can actually start doing a bit of sports. Okay, it's time for me to check out how fat I am. So I think I need to put a coin. 110, oh my God. Evelina said that I just lost some weight. Was that a joke? I don't know. Anyways, let's go. We have made it to the Nike store and let's hope that they have our sizes because Chinese people come here and they just buy everything very quickly. So let's find the sneaker part of this place. You could see so many people here and you got a bunch of running shoes and all sorts of stuff here. Well, here's some trainers. All sorts of stuff here. And the price is actually better than other stores as well. Huh? No, we cannot. Oh, cannot? Yeah. Looks like I found some shoes for myself. Got some running shoes, so I'll be able to hit the gym now. Because the only thing I had was flip-flops, which I couldn't wear. Right now, you are in a shoe box because they don't allow filming here. So you guys are in a shoe box. So I'm looking at shoes and you at the same time. Got the right shoes, want to get some shorts to start, you know, doing sports and stuff. Couldn't get them. Because uh, in this outlet store, they have like really, really small sizes. Trying to cover up that light behind me. Guys, that Nike store, I wasn't even recording and some lady came up to me screaming, going like, don't recording. And I'm like, what are you talking about? My camera is off. Anyways, we bought the two pairs of shoes there, right? And we really don't want to go like the, the way they treat their customers is just wrong. This is like the only shop probably in Pattaya that treats its customers a bit like trash, to be honest with you. I don't know why. Anyways, I need something to drink because I'm dying of thirst right now. You could see some guy singing around the place. Look at him. So we're gonna be having a bit of bubble tea, I'm guessing. But I remember when I was here last time, I've had some strawberry, strawberry, I don't even know what it's called, pink milk that I had last time. And I'm gonna have it once again. And I'm pretty sure last time I was here, I enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give it a try because I'm dying of thirst. Hopefully it's not gonna be too sugary. So a lot of people usually ask me, Ivan, why don't you give us the prices of stuff you get? So for the two pairs of shoes for me and Evelina, the Nike running shoes, it's called Nike Roche 1 and WMNS Nike Tangent. I don't even, I'm not a sneaker guy, I have no idea what I got. It was just light 
and look like something for sports. And I've even got a small cap for training and that costed $69. What a naughty number I know, but you know what? I think for that price, first of all, it'd be impossible to get some Nike or Nike running shoes in Russia, the original ones, because those are original. They're just at an outlet store. Oh, thank you. Evelina can't even see me. She's recording something. Let's try out this drink. Wow, that is something really sweet. I think I'm actually gonna get a hard case of diabetes just from drinking this unknown drink. Tastes like chemicals, tastes like sugar. So I don't know how, but definitely diabetes is on the way. Look at Evelina mad at me because she's trying to record something and she's saying that I'm loud. She goes crazy. She's like, oh my God, you're so loud. But I'm recording a video. What do you expect? I'm walking here. So Evelina actually likes crocodile. Sure. Can we have one portion of crocodile? You could see the piece of crocodile that was cut from here. And Evelina is gonna eat it right now. They're heating it up. I am not the biggest fan of crocodile, I'll be honest with you. But Evelina likes it, so. Well, Evelina is about to try out the crocodile she ate it before, so let's see how she likes it this time. So here we got a bit of crocodile that Evelina is about to have. Look at this thing. She's dipping into some sauce, trying it out. So here we are, Evelina, the crocodile eater herself. Okay, I guess I'll have to try it now in a second. Well, time to try out a bit of crocodile. I know it's um, it's tasty. It's smoky crocodile. It tastes like, I think it tastes a bit more like pork, but it's actually pretty good. You know what? I would probably be able to eat crocodile myself, but today we are going to be trying out the roti because a lot of you guys were telling me that, oh yeah, the roti lady, she uh, has the best pancakes and stuff like that. There's a random roti place right there, which I'm gonna try out right now and see. And even look at it from how it looks like and present. I'm gonna order the exact same thing. No egg, no banana, just chocolate and see the difference. We made a decision of, we're not gonna have a roti pancake here. We're gonna have it closer to our home. So it's gonna be like a dessert before we go back. So like, this is a very touristy area, so, you know, that would not feel right. The roti lady is at a random spot, so we gotta find the most random roti person, which looks like his setup is ghetto as heck, and try out and see if it's any good. I think that would be fair, because that roti place behind me actually looks too professional. We need something on a motorbike so that we can get to feel the real experience. I got a message from my Russian bank saying that $7 was taken away. And I was like, first of all, since when do I have money in a Russian bank account? And I had $10 in it, which is surprising. But I was like, what the heck did I just pay for? And then I look at the receipt and it said car sharing. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm not even in Russia. Did someone hijack my account? Guys, I got a fine on that smart car, remember? Because I wasn't wearing a seat belt in that thing because it was so dirty inside. We didn't want to wear one. We'd rather die than die from salmonella in that thing, you know, it, it was horrible. But yeah, got fined for that. I have possibly found the best Christmas gift you could ever desire. Look at this gift right here. So we got toilet paper, we got some noodles, we got some coffee, some tomato soup, a torch, a lemon scent toilet cleaner, a bottle of water. Wow, 
This is amazing. What a gift. I would love one of them. If you guys ever see me and you want to give something to your attention right here, you got yourself a very, very nice gift. I just got myself this token right here and I'm going to use it to try to win a toy for Evelina. That is so We gotta do this, guys. Yeah. This is a flippin' scam. Holy schmucks. To spend 10 bat just release the whole thing. Got scammed in Thailand. Holy smokes. Anyways, we need to go to a grocery store right now to buy some groceries. And my biggest cultural shock that I had in Thailand, you're gonna find out once we get to the grocery store. Well, we wanted to go to another grocery store to buy ourselves bed sheets and stuff like that, but because the driver, I don't know why, but it seems really odd to me and baffles me when a taxi driver, he doesn't have a clue where to drive and he doesn't look at his GPS where it chose to turn. So we were literally driving around in circles for an hour and yeah, the grocery store closed at 10 and it's 9.30 already and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to go there because we don't have enough time for that. I don't know what's going on with the taxi today. This day is just not made for us. But yeah, the taxi, we need a car. I hope that I'll be able to start my driver license stuff on Monday. That'd be awesome. And then buy a flipping car here and drive around like a legend. I guess what we could do now is um, walk around this market where I told the guy to just drop us off because I wasn't bothered riding around with him for another hour. And at this market, we could actually, I'm pretty sure there is somebody cooking roti pancakes. And we'll see how it's done without egg, like I ordered, because a lot of people said, because you didn't order with an egg, that's why she didn't make a big one, because she couldn't spread it out. That is not the case. That is not the case whatsoever. So I'll show you how a good roti pancake looks like in a minute. You could really become one heck of a stylish person wearing Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton. Look at all this stuff right here, Gucci. You got all sorts of things you might need ever. So we're in the Terra Prasit market. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. And the Sogran is soon to come. So there's a lot of people that are gonna be buying water guns. They're preparing for the water fight of this year. You can see there's a bunch of water guns right here for sale. Look at this. You could even test out the guns here. Wow. Look at this gun right here being shot. Wow. <laughs> they literally have machine guns right here. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> This is for Sogran, yes? Sogran, yeah. Oh, wow, it's electric, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's show. YouTuber. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> wow, this is very cool. <laughs> wow, look, you're a professional. Thank <laughs> you. Look at this guy, he's spraying the heck out of this place. So you could see, you could get yourself all sorts of guns. This guy is a professional Sogran hitman. I gotta get myself one. I will have to get myself a water gun because we are gonna go as well. There's no way I'm not gonna go into a water fight during Sogran. Sounds like a great activity. We have decided that we're gonna pop up home drop off our sneakers. We just kind of walked around this place and go over to the streets instead 
uh, take some soup back home, the 50 baht soup, and show you some good roti pancakes. I gotta show you in this vlog, I swear, I gotta do it this vlog. I've, I've been talking about this way too long now. Where the heck is the Tok Tok at, I wonder. Can't see any Tok Toks, but I see some vans. Oh, we finally got on the Tok Tok. Oh, it took us ages to catch one for some reason. But here we are, driving back down. A lot of you guys were saying that I'm gonna have problems walking around with slides all the time, and I guess you're right. You know, um, for the first week or two it's fine, but then your legs start getting tired, so I guess I'll be working out in those shoes and walking around the place. Sounds like a good idea to me. What a coincidence. We got dropped off at a random location, and now we have to find another tuk-tuk or something. I don't know what's going on with today's day. No luck with the taxi. The tuk-tuk literally took 20 baht of us after driving us a few kilometers away. Wow, look at those cakes, guys. Oh, this looks amazing. Wow, look how beautiful those cakes look like. Yeah, the cakes are very, very expensive here. I don't know why. Um, in, in Russia, cakes aren't that expensive. Here, it's like around $25 a cake, which is very, very expensive in my opinion. Now, a lot of you are gonna be saying, oh, when you go to America, everything is gonna feel expensive for you. It's different there, guys. I'm talking in, um, you know, food costs cheap here, so you would have imagined that cakes would be cheap here, but they're not. That's what I mean. This Tok Tok went the way that we need to go and he dropped us off there. Is he for real? Flippin' heck, and there's a bunch of cops here as well. What the heck is going on? I think we just got ripped off by a Tok Tok. Wow, it's really smoky here. So we're walking to the soup place and there's some guy grilling some chunks of meat here on the street on his scooter. Gotta admit, it does smell very nice. And a lot of people are scared to try street food like this. Don't be scared, guys. It's actually very good. And I've never really heard of cases of getting food poisoning. Usually you get food poisoning in like shopping centers and restaurants. But in places like this, it doesn't make sense to get food poisoning because, you know, they're working on the streets. And if they start food poisoning everybody, and not look after the quality of their food, I'm pretty sure somebody is gonna get angry at them and do something. So that's my philosophy about the street food in Thailand. So we have arrived over to the place where we get the soup and Evelina is about to get the best soup. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Best soup. One, one soup for her. Yeah, to go, thank you. So the soup is right here. This is the best soup in Jamtian, like I said before. Guys, you have to go to Jamtian, you see this bank right here? Everybody should come over here. Look at this. Oh, the smell is so good. The steam is going in my face. If I didn't eat some food today, I would definitely eat this soup, but it is the best. Guys, come over. Out of all the places you could have the soup over at, we tried so many of those soup on the scooters. This is the best one ever. So you gotta find this lady right here, buy the bank right here, and have the best soup. <laughs> so Evelina has crocodile and soup in a bag that she's gonna take back home. And finally, we're on a mission. We're gonna find a roti person here making the pancakes. And I will show you the real deal pancakes, which you guys are gonna enjoy. The real stuff, the tasty stuff, none of that non-tasty hairy pancakes we're gonna have the real deal up in this pataya jam tian place you know what i'm saying i'm walking here you can see everybody chilling out drinking beers doing whatever you do in pataya i guess you know you know what i guess what happens in pataya stays in pataya there's going to be somebody selling rotis here somebody oh very nice so all the street vendors are gone because the police came over 
and this street is usually filled with street vendors but when the police comes they all run away and then after like 10 15 20 minutes usually the police leaves and loads like 10 15 20 uh, scooters with little kitchens come in here and sell their stuff now i'm pretty sure if we just go down the street we, we will find a roti pancake because we have to do this this is all this has become a full-on proper mission that we're on trying to find some pancakes in Jomtian beach i actually don't know what's happening right now i'll be honest with you because there's absolutely no street food on Jomtian today what is going on maybe it's because there's a lot of police for some reason today but our mission is becoming harder and harder because we need to buy some roti pancakes before we get back home it'll be a mission unsuccessful if we don't do oh this is becoming a hard hard mission i really don't want to leave my stuff at home and then go back outside and then get the pancakes you know what i mean so hopefully we'll just find one on the way and i'll show you what a real good pancake looks like look at this guys absolutely nobody here whatsoever right there's only like two or three food stands oh there's some people arriving i hope we find some pancake person what am i doing to myself spending hours to find a pancake well i got some bad news for you guys we did not find any pancakes on the way back home and it's too late for me to even find one i know this sounds like an excuse because it is but i need to edit this video i need to do a live stream with you guys and that's a bit more important and the pancake can wait till tomorrow so let's get back home and i will tell you a little cultural shock that i had that i was supposed to tell you at the grocery store well you know what matter of fact i'll tell you now the biggest cultural shock is when you buy bed sheets and stuff like that you don't you can't buy a blanket cover here you literally buy a blanket which you can't strip down at all so you have to every single time you know if you if you need like two sets right the one you wash and the other one you sleep you have to wash the whole blanket so we gotta buy a blanket and bed sheets so that we could wash the other ones what the heck that doesn't make any sense it's so much easier to just have covers for it and you just strip it off and wash it oh that is a big cultural shock and we didn't understand how to even purchase bed sheets because you have to buy a whole thing anyways let's get back home get this video edited out and do the live stream if you're watching this you'll probably already watch the live stream anyway so today in the store guys we got some tuna for the cats and once we got them i didn't record it they absolutely loved it it's basically tuna for cats could have probably bought a fresh tuna but anyways they love this stuff and i'm gonna give them a slice of tuna each and i'm gonna show you how they eat it this is because i didn't show you how we ate pancakes so i'm gonna show you how the cats are going to be eating a bit of tuna okay guys you could kind of see me here i need to get the trash bag close by open up this tuna evelina said that there's going to be juice dripping straight away well yeah you could see the juice definitely the juice is popping up i'm gonna squish it up a little bit so it's easier for the cats to chew squish her up a little bit it actually smells nice i i could probably eat this this smells yes you could definitely see ponchik is excited for this very much let's open up the second package for the other cat oh wow you i you guys pro pro could probably hear this right mm -hmm. oh no i got it on my face I can already smell it. Oh no! I got it on my shirt. I got it all over the place, guys. Pichenka, are you excited? Are you excited for this food? Ponchik Pichenka? Well, guys, hope you enjoyed 
this vlog. I know that some people are saying, wow, you should make more videos about Russia. Some of you are saying you should make vlogs about Thailand even more. I'm gonna try to do both, all right? I'm trying to, you know, make news about Russia for you guys who are interested in that. And also with the vlog as well. You know, trying to broaden out the channel a little bit so everybody could enjoy a little piece of that and a little piece of this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button, like the channel, comment on the comment section below on what you would like to see in Thailand as well. On Monday, we are gonna start our driver license process. Uh, which will be interesting. Hopefully it's only going to take a day where we are going to be basically changing our Russian license to Thai license. And after that, we're going to be searching for a very cheap car in Thailand, probably in Bangkok, because there's way more cars for sale there. And once we find one, we'll go there and purchase ourselves a vehicle. The car culture is huge here, so we're going to be making a lot and a lot of vlogs and car stuff as well. So I'm very excited, guys. I'll see you later. Have an amazing day.